What's going on all my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another ranking video. I just finished watching and reviewing all five Rambo films and now it's time for me to rank all five Rambo films from the worst to the best. Even though it took me a full year to watch all five Rambo films, I know that's embarrassing, I did enjoy the Rambo films overall. I don't think the franchise is as iconic as Sylvester Stallone's other franchise, the Rocky franchise, but it's still a great franchise in its own right, and Rambo is another iconic character in Sylvester Stallone's career, and I'm glad that we have these five movies to watch and to celebrate uh, some of the best of Sylvester Stallone as an action star. I enjoyed these films for the most part, and I'm happy to share my ranking on this channel with you guys. Before I get started with my ranking, definitely share your thoughts in the comments below and your rankings on the Rambo films. What's your favorites? What's your least favorites? We're not all going to have the same opinions. No list is the right list. It's just our own personal opinions. So definitely share your rankings down in the comments below. So without further ado, let's get started with my Rambo ranking. Coming in at number five easily is Rambo 3. This is the only Rambo film I do not like. And the, it, it's pretty easy to see why. Even though this film has a great production budget to it, it's got great cinematography. It's got an awesome spectacle and exciting explosions put into it. I think what hurts this film is it's the only Rambo film, in my opinion, that sacrifices the essence of the Rambo character. And this film, Stallone, feels like he's playing a shell of himself. And that's pretty sad, especially considering how jacked Stallone was for this film with Heat at the Peak of His Fame. The fact that I didn't see Rambo for half of this movie and I just saw Stallone jacked at the peak of his fame and nothing more, nothing less. It's a bit of a shame that this movie didn't live up to the other Rambo films. Now, not that this film's bad. There's aspects of this film that I did enjoy. I liked the opening action set piece, for instance, where Rambo has this street brawl at the beginning. It was a lot of fun. And I did enjoy the Rambo... Colonel Troutman dynamic in this film especially. They kind of have like this brotherly bond throughout that I thought was pretty cool throughout. That angle I did enjoy, but overall Rambo 3, that one didn't resonate with me because of the five Rambo films, this one felt like the least Rambo film in my opinion. Coming in at number four is First Blood Part 2. Now this is a, definitely a step up from Rambo 3. There's a lot of stuff to enjoy in Rambo 2. Especially on an action level and also a little bit on a character level. This does continue the themes established in First Blood. It's a solid continuation of what Rambo does after his incident on US soil in First Blood. You get to see Rambo kind of redeem himself a little bit and go on uh, this fun little mission, and it's, it's kind of a ludicrous, but kind of a fun story seeing Rambo go back to Vietnam and kind of win the Vietnam War and kind of be a liberation for some of the Vietnam vets that were disillusioned and disgruntled from that experience, and that was fun in its own right. I think what hurts Rambo 2 is it didn't know what tone it wanted to be, like, it has some grounded, gritty stuff at times, and then it could be very goofy, ludicrous, and over the top. And the movie couldn't really find its own identity because of that. But who cares when the movie is still fun to watch? It's no first blood. It's a little messy tonally, but it's still a fun entry in the franchise. Coming in at number three, I got Rambo, or Rambo 4. And this movie really shocked me when I saw it for the first time recently because I, I was just expecting an average Rambo film. And at the end of the day, I got this very brutal, raw, honest war film that doesn't hold back on the brutalities of war. 
And it was an excellent character study once again. It was exactly what the franchise needed after the hiatus between that and the third one. I'm glad that the franchise went back to a serious tone once again. And I had a great time with this film. Rambo's character was interesting once again. The action was brutal. And it makes it all the more rewarding when Rambo takes the lead at the very end of the film. When he takes all those bad guys out with that machine gun attached to the Jeep. I was on the edge of my seat. It was an exciting action sequence. And you got to see Rambo in full on berserker beast mode once again. And it was awesome. Now what holds Rambo 4 back? Uh, the stuff with the missionaries. Uh, while it does further the plot, I didn't really care for the characters. Some of the characters made some like really stupid decisions. Julie Benz leads the group, and she's a good actress, but her character was very one note. I didn't really care for her that much. And some of the mercenaries that team up with Rambo I found really annoying. I wish Rambo did his one man show gig. That was what made the character awesome. But overall, a very good Rambo film, and it's definitely one of the better ones in the franchise. Coming in at number two, this is my hot take opinion here, Rambo Last Blood. I thought this film was awesome. I didn't get a lot of the hate for this film at all. If you look at my review of Last Blood, I kind of explained some of the controversies the film had and why half of it was just nonsense. But this movie, I thought, was really awesome. Uh, Sylvester Stallone is in full force again. It's excellent that he's still able to commit to a character this complex even at 74 years old. I enjoyed the journey that his character went through. It is a very compelling one. Some aspects of it are a bit rushed. I wish we had a little more with Stallone and the daughter before she got kidnapped. But that journey was still a good one. I did enjoy the revenge arc throughout. It was kind of a mix of John Wick meets the aesthetic of Logan with a little bit of R-rated Home Alone in there. And I had a great time watching Last Blood. It might be my favorite third act of any Rambo film, especially on the more action side of Rambo. And I thought it was a very satisfying way to wrap up Rambo's character. I thought it was a great time. A little messy, but still a great time. But coming in at number one easily is First Blood. The one that started it all back in 1982. This one feels a lot different compared to the other Rambo films, which are a lot more action-oriented, but still mixes the character study of Rambo as a character. Rambo is all character study. Yes, there's action elements in Rambo as Rambo wages a one-man war in this film for being wrongly treated. But at the center of it is a character study of a man with PTSD suffering for PTSD after fighting a controversial war and not being accepted and treated like he should and the fallout that comes from that when people do not did not understand what PTSD was at the time. So it was an important film in that regard and of the five films this is Stallone's best performance as Rambo still and this is the only film I think that has a complex antagonist with the sheriff character who you do understand where he's coming from even though I do feel the character in the wrong and I do enjoy the conflict throughout. It does have some exciting action stuff. I was very intrigued in where the story was going. It can be a little far-fetched at times. The stunt with Rambo jumping off the cliff was absolute ludicrous and did feel out of place tonally. But what does make up for it is the character development and the very satisfying conclusion. Rambo's speech at the end of this film gives me goosebumps every time I've rewatched First Blood. It's a powerful scene, one of the best acted scenes in Stallone's career, and it all wraps up as the best Rambo film, and that's definitely not going to change now that the franchise has ended. First Blood is the film everybody agrees is a great film, and watching it, you can easily see why. 
So that wraps up my ranking of the Rambo franchise. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely share your rankings down in the comments below. Which films are your favorites? Which are your favorites? Which are your least favorites? Share your rankings down in the comments below. If you want to see extensive thoughts on all the Rambo films, I'll leave a link in the description to a playlist where you can look at all the Rambo reviews I've done. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button to see more content, and the notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides ranking videos, I also do movie reviews, TV reviews, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!